Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, leave us a link in the comment section below and we'll actually do it for you guys we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs and if there's anything that you want to see there subscribe let us know what you want us to do and we'll do it for you guys um we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse we have some amazing conversations that we've put out there you can find us on itunes spotify Pod Bean and this channel as well and our second YouTube channel so you guys just feel free to enjoy the conversations as much as we enjoy them when you listen to them we've got a Patreon called uh, Fanny and Jesse. you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that's subscribed to our channel so far thank you so much wouldn't come this far without you guys thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for liking um thank you for sharing and just thank you for sticking around we are very very grateful and a big shout out to everyone else that's always giving us stuff to react to we appreciate everything that you guys uh give us so today as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to 10 surprising types of angels in islam before i get into that i'd like to ask you guys to check out my new blog morning coffee with funny and i'll be very very appreciative you can check out the content that's there and let me know what you think even if you don't want to comment just read and enjoy the content also i post short stories on my instagram you can follow me at safani l and just enjoy the short poems that i post there and if you're into short stories or poems you can check out my blog life of blue and you'll find everything there i'll make sure i'll try my best to make sure that i post the link somewhere but you can actually find one or two links in our community section on our channel and just feel free to become members or follow me or whatever the case is so today like i said we're reacting to 10 surprising types of angels in islam so without wasting time let's get into the video According to Islamic theology, there are many types of intelligent beings beyond just humans and one of those types of beings are known as angels. And just like humans, angels have all sorts of job descriptions and roles. So welcome back to another exciting episode of FTD Facts and I found different types of angels in Islam and in this video I'll be highlighting roles that angels have been assigned and not necessarily highlighting specific angels. So starting at number 10, we have the Archangel. So an Archangel is a superior or a higher ranking angel and in Islam the archangels that are specifically mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah are as follows we have Jibrail that's the archangel responsible for communicating the messages from God to the Prophet there's Mikael responsible for the forces of nature and ensuring that it rains and things like that Israfil is the archangel that will blow the trumpet to announce the day of the resurrection and it's said that Israfil actually has the trumpet at his lips just waiting for for the command from God. Azrael, he's the angel of death. Malik is the angel of hellfire and Ridwan is the angel of paradise or heaven. But getting into some other types of angels, next up are the guardian angels. So what's a guardian angel? Well, these are the angels that have a job description of just protecting and guiding individuals. They also can protect groups of people as well as even countries. Now, every single person has two guardian angels one in the front of them and one behind them. However, in actuality, each person is assigned four guardian angels because they take turns, you know? So two of them guard you during the day and the other two guard you during the nighttime. So you always have at least two of them with you. Next up is the Kiramin Katabin. These are the recording angels. Now there are two recording angels mentioned called Rakib and Atib, and they record everything that people do. Every single word, every action done by a person, so these angels, they don't mess around at all because you know those naughty things that you do that you know you're not supposed to do and you think like no one is seeing you do them? 
Yeah, they record those stuff too. Ishim is next up at number seven. So the Ishim are angels that are said to have the closest relationship to what we as human beings are doing on a day to day basis. There was an angel made up of half ice and half fire, often portrayed with the name Habib. Now, this angel was encountered by the Prophet Muhammad during his night journey in the first heaven. The angel Jibreel told the Prophet Muhammad that this angel offers advice to the believers on earth and actually praise for them. At number 6 we have the angels of death. Neziet and Neshitet are two classes of death angels that are subordinates to Azrael who is the archangel of death that I mentioned in number 10. Now these angels are responsible for taking the souls of those who pass away. Neziets are ordered to take the lives of unbelievers by force but the Neshitets take their life very gently. Now, not much is known about these angels, the Dardaiel, but the Dardaiel, which translates to the journeyers of God, move very quickly and are always on the lookout. Why? Because they are the angels who are given the task of traveling all around the world constantly in search of people and groups of people who remember and honor God's name. There's also an angel named Dardaiel that is invoked during exorcism, but I'm not exactly sure if they're connected. Zebenye is next, and the Zebenye are known as the forces of hell and they torment the sinners. They are also called angels of punishment or the guardians of hell and they are usually identified with the 19 angels of hell that are mentioned in the Quran. In the number 3 spot we have the Hamlet al Arsh, and those are the bearers of the throne. Now these angels are usually portrayed in an animal like form because they are described as looking like different creatures such as an eagle, a bull, a lion and a human all together somehow. In other hadiths, they are described as having six wings and four faces. Now if you're familiar with the Bible, these angels are comparable to the seraphim found in the book of Isaiah and Revelation in the Bible. And actually you know what, let's take a look at the seraphim in Islam next. So seraphim means fiery one or fiery serpent depending on the context. They are mentioned in the hadith in a conversation between the prophet Muhammad and God during his night journey. Sometimes the archangels Jibreel and and Israfil are identified as being seraphim as well. In one Islamic narration about angels that were commanded to bow before Adam, Iblis is said to have refused to bow because he was a seraph himself made from fire and was better than Adam. And the final group of angels to look at are the cherubim. So the cherubim are mentioned in Islamic traditions, however they're not mentioned in the Quran. The cherubim continuously praise God and they're described as being bright because none of the other lower angels can even look upon them. The cherubim are so bright that the light from one of them can fill the entire earth. And in Islam, when Moses asked God to show his face to him, God made one of the cherubim shine on the mountain where Moses was and it broke it to pieces. And in this tradition, God was just showing Moses that since he couldn't even handle looking at a cherub, how does he expect to handle looking at God himself directly. Alright guys, so that's all I have in this episode on the 10 types of angels in Islam. Now I'd like to know regardless of if you're Muslim or not, have you heard of any of these angels or stories or beliefs of any of these types of angels? Sound off below in the comment section. I'm very interested to read what you guys have to say. Now if you made it this far, here's another video similar to this one. Definitely check it out. Just tap the annotation right by my head. I also have links down below in the video description to my social media. So follow me on Instagram, you know, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up to date with our daily episodes here on FTD Facts. Okay, I'm gonna get on out of here. I gotta go work on another video. So I'll see you guys real soon. Tomorrow, as a matter of fact. All right, later. I really love uh, the videos, the FTD channel puts up a big shout out to them and i just like how they pre present stuff also a big shout out to the person that suggested this because this was um something else something new something interesting and i think someone suggested this because i asked something about angels or something and i appreciate your suggestions i had no idea that we had different types of angels and that they were assigned different uh Ta they were assigned to different tasks it's just this video was education i hope as i learn from this you also learn from something and if there's anything that you want to contribute concerning 
uh, whichever type of angel that exists feel free to educate me um i'll be more than glad to get your feedback make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video